Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different tutorial. I'm going to be doing one on the computer, Photoshop to be exact. I am going to be making a chalkboard sign. So if you've never made one before and you have seen them and you thought they were adorable and you would love to learn how to make them for yourself or for your friends and family, then watch this video and you can find all the fonts, the chalkboard, everything you need. This is a one-stop shop. So here's me making my son's first day of school sign. So he will hold this. I'll take this over to Staples and print it out and then I'll probably put it in like a frame and then he'll hold it for those first day of school photos. It's gonna be so cute and so sad. He's my last baby. Ugh, it's hard. Okay, so I want to say first that you're going to start off by going over to my blog, which is charmedbyashley.com. I'll have all those links down below, and that is where you will find all the fonts and the chalkboard and everything you need to get started. First, I'm just going to let this play for a little bit longer just so you can see the process of me making it. And then we will go in a little bit more in depth with the blog posts. And then I will show you some examples of what I've done so far. Okay, so here is the blog post. You will find the top best free chalkboard fonts. And these are all free, like it says in the post. And you can just go ahead, go over there, click that, and then there will be a list and a little sampler so you can see what they all look like. And you can go click on the fonts and then install them into your computer. And they will install into any program such as Word or Photoshop or whatever you have so you don't have to worry about that just get the file and install it if you have problems with installing the file I will have another video that's linked in the information icon and you can learn how to install it directly into your computer so if you don't know how to do that then follow that link and you can watch that so I am a photographer, if you don't already know, so I do portraits and I like to do back to school portraits around this time of year. Um, this is actually an old photo of my daughter on her first day of school. She looks so little now. She is going into grade one, so that's a trip. <laughs> So I am going to make this into sort of a little poster. So I just put her name on it and then I put all of her little um, milestones, what her favorite things are, um, right beside her. I'm gonna go ahead and show you one that I just finished today of my nephew. And I think they turn out really cute. And if you're interested in making something like this, then this is what I love to do for, especially for the first year. Um, especially you can kind of just preserve all of those little things so you never forget them all in one photo. But if you wanted to make something like I did in that first part of this video, then you can go over to the blog post. You can get the link for the chalkboard, um, background so you can get um, black green and I think there's another color in there and then you can just make just a regular sign so just take all of those chalkboard fonts and then just mix and match um, the more different fonts you do the better it looks and there is some ribbons and doodles and frames and all kinds of different things packed in all those links that are at the blog post so you can just have fun and just you know create something really really beautiful 
and this is of course the top best free chalkboard font uh, color that I made. <laughs> so I hope that you give it a try. If you do, I would love to see it. And I, if you need any other information regarding this, please let me know. Of course, I'm not going to show you how to use Photoshop. Um, it's because that is just a whole other can of worms, but if you have another program that you can use, that you know how to use, then you can take all this stuff and just apply it to the program that you like to use the most. So I hope you enjoy this little video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below if you enjoy these, um, you know, DIYs on the computer because I do these, this stuff all the time, even invitations and you know, it's just all the stuff that I would rather not pay other people to do. I'll just do it myself. You know what I mean? Anyways, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.